Joining us is Razak Oladosu, Coordinator, Coalition of Self-Determination Groups. Thank you very much for joining us. What is your reaction to the comment credited to Garaba Shew on community policing that the IGP will determine the structure of the process, including Amoteku? It seems, uh, uh, with due respect, Garba Shehu does not seem to understand the concept of what community policing is. And uh, Amoteku is a very distinct platform from their own view and uh, thought of what a community police is. You see, the, 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 the point here is that it is a traditional approach to insecurity. That is Amoteku. Amoteku is not going to be your run-of-the-mill policing organization. Though they will be working with every available security agencies on the existing security agencies on the ground. But to think they will be merging or uh, be subsumed under uh, the ex any of the existing structure is out of it to tell you. Okay. Is this a testament to the AGF initial position that the security initiative is illegal, even now that it has been passed by state assemblies? No. Thank God you, you are aware that it has been passed by state assemblies. And you see, the right to protect self and, and property is a, is a fundamental right that is guaranteed by the United Nations Act, by the law of God, okay, and even by our constitution. So the issue is not about the legality or illegality of trying to protect, you know, the territory. And mind you, you know, the governors of the states are designed, are designated as the chief security officer of their state. And what is the role of a chief security officer of the state? It will be able to provide security for uh, the citizenry therein. So if that is the function of the governor or part of the duty or the major duty of the, gover of the governor and the governance, I don't think they've stepped out of their way by creating this platform. One, two, the question is, security is everybody's business and everybody must see themselves as an integral part of every security structures in their environment. So that the, uh, 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 whoever is saying that it's illegal, now it's a law. You have the Hizba law in Kano, and nobody has challenged it, you know? You know, it's funny because Kano takes from VAT, but VAT are major revenue derived from alcohol. And the destroy alcohol in Kano, and nobody has challenged that. Nobody has gone out of their way to say, look, stop paying VAT from, to these people because, you know, the, the bulk of the revenue for VAT are from alcohol. You know? So, right. you see, the, 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 it's, not, it's, not even, it's, it's not an issue for debate at all because Amoteku has come to stay and definitely will continue. Um, Agarbashi also said many states cannot fund community policing. Isn't that the reason for trying to uh, bankroll the project? You see, my dear, today you and I know that police recruits are made to buy their wears, their uniform, their everything. Okay? You know the state of the Nigerian police in, finance, in funding. You know the state of the Nigerian police even in infrastructures. So if you are now lumping Amotekun with the Nigerian police again, are you not adding more, more burden? So let the states devise their way of funding. You see, look, if just trying being creative, if they are being creative, they are, it, it shouldn't be too much of a burden. Mind you, majority of those that will function in Amotekun will act as volunteers from the localities. So the, infra, the, 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 the financial requirement for the process it's not going to be as burdensome as when you are transferring somebody from Maiduguri to Ikare in my village. You understand? Every, every player, every operative of a Motekun are localized hunters, local hands, you know, who have very little overhead implication. So that the funding is it's not even it's not there. You see? All right. Because you, you're talking of the Nigerian police. They are requirement has the federal government been able to meet up to 50% or even 30% of their requirement? Now you want us to lump the Amotekun with it in the name of community police? 
to add to the to the body, I don't think that is reasonable. So the state will know they will devise a way and means with which to sort out the financial responsibility uh, and financial responsibility of uh, the the good running of Amotevu. All right. Uh, the Southwest is, I mean, that was the intro we read uh, for this story, seemed not to agree with the presidency on community policing, and you are aligning uh, with that position. What, what becomes of this funding that has been released? Because it, it doesn't seem to be, I mean, how do we now use this money if the state governments who are supposed to also be a part of the process seem hesitant to go ahead and not in agreement with the decision of the presidency. Does that indicate a lack of consultancy? You see, my dear, there is nothing that is permanent. We've seen people born blind and they encounter their miracle at the middle of their age. So if the federal government, in their own wisdom, decided to raise resources with the hope of controlling the community policing sector, and the states, in their own wisdom, felt, look, bring the fund, we will sort this out. It's just a matter of sitting down and dialoguing and discussing them. They will come, surely come up with a, with a compromise. That, that is what leadership is all about, you know. All right. So let, it let is me not ask a you this one pointedly. Neither is it a concreted uh, 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 arrangement. If the federal government felt, look, we can come in by providing the facility through community policing and the state, because they are the one inside the liver and they are the one who knows how deep the liver is. So if they, they can advise the federal government that, look, your approach will not work because every environment has its own peculiarity. Uh, in the interest of time... Um, you understand now? In the interest of time, yeah. Razak, oh, quickly, um, yeah. I, I know you sort of alluded uh, to um, other issues, but there is this pointed... Um, comments that keep cropping up on our social media, uh, the question that, is it possible that the federal government, through this community policing fund, is trying to, you know, displace the efforts to create local, regional uh, security outfits like the Amoteku? Well, uh, really, from, the, from all indication, you, are, you may not be far from the truth. But you see, one thing they must be conscious of is that Amoteku is a product of continuous agitation of the people of, those, of that region. So it's going to be very difficult to defeat it. It has assumed a life of its own. Even when the governors were still food dragging, the entire, the, the entire populace have already taken and bought into the Amoteku process. So, and you see, if you want better development, if you want the peace we all seek, you must carry everybody along. And if you are carrying everybody along, the majority should carry the day. So right. the majority of our people in the Southwest are insisting that, look, they are more taking a, a platform. They are ready to give all the support it requires to work because it suits their purpose. It suits their need. It suits their yearning. All so right, there's, there's no so point, much to talk about see, when it comes to the issue. To stop a moving train.